Hey guys, it's Pingu here with part 27 of the Dwarf Fortress tutorial. Uh, this does not look like Dwarf Fortress, does it? But it's a very helpful tool that I should have covered a lot earlier. Um, but I, I really don't know why I didn't. Um, it's called Dwarf Therapist, and it's officially not supported um, by the latest version, or does not support the latest version, but you can hack it um, very easily. And I, I will uh, post instructions on how to do that and where to download it. But it really helps because it integrates with the game. So I'm going to launch Dwarf Fortress and hope Fraps does not crap out. No, it doesn't. So I just have the game launched in the background. And uh, and once it's launched, you can hit this Connect to Dwarf Fortress button up here. And just like that, it connects to my game and shows you all the dwarfs I have in my fortress. And all the skills. Um, even the military skills and the social skills. And this is very, very helpful because this is so much better than the default uh, uh, skill editor. So I can go through and say it's sort of by mining, and uh, and you just click on one of the the boxes here to say I, I want them to do this. So this guy is a legendary crossbow maker, but he's not set to actually make crossbows. So I'm clicking there, and uh, and eventually when I commit the changes, all these changes will be made, and uh, I will have my uh, dwarf uh, workforce. Uh, finally properly uh, designated. So uh, say this guy, I don't want him to do st stone detailing because he has zero experience, so uh, you know, turn it off. And uh, I typically just check everything, every dwarf that has even a novice rating, I uh, enable them. And uh, and if I don't have enough, like say I don't have a small animals day sector, or uh, or in this case, this guy's bold, so it means he's currently training for the army, I could just uh, you know also set somebody else and just uh, tell them to do it. Uh, so it's it's very useful, very very useful. And uh, when a migrant wave comes in, just go through and uh, check all these. Um, it's a bit more complicated with healthcare because you don't know who's the uh, the head uh, medical dwarf or, or who's noble, who's a noble in general. Uh, you can figure it out because if you go to the social tab, say we want to see who's the best appraiser in a fortress. Oh, we suddenly know who's the broker. It's a uh, this. Uh, Tobal guy. He's also the organizer because he's legendary at it. But uh, otherwise, you you have to go in game to actually uh, change anything related to nobles. So uh, we've got a bunch of farmers here. You'll also notice that a few of these people don't have any hauling enabled. So actually, these guys don't have hauling enabled because they're my healthcare dwarfs. But these guys down here, I can't even enable anything on them. That's because they're uh, children. And for whatever reason, children actually do farming and get experience out of it. Now you can also go to the uh, the uh, menu, the options menu here, there's a few options, um, and one of them is a uh, allow labor sitting on anybody, and I'm a dirty cheater. You can actually change the labor on uh, children if you want, so uh, <laughs> so you can you can make uh, any sort of uh, anybody do any labor they want uh, if you really want to get stuff out of that, uh, those children. So it's a, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, very, very powerful, uh, even just for kind of cheating in the game. Uh, there's a lot of these, uh, th there are a lot of these utilities around. Um, please check the utilities page on the Dwarf Fortress Wikipedia because uh, it lists a lot of them and w and a lot of them aren't necessarily even supported by the, uh, by this latest version. So, uh, so just know that, and uh, but the wiki should show which ones are supported. Um, this one's just not supported because every new version they change the uh, the memory mapping location. So uh, what happens is uh, you just need a, a minor patch just to say, oh, this is what they've been done with the memory, and uh, and then you should be set to go. Um, and Dwarf Therapist also really helps. So I can see I now have only one furnace operator. I can make another. I can make another weaponsmith, and and this would really, if I had any furnace operators, this, the, all the steel making would go ten times faster, and. Uh, that should be it for now. I mean, I can go through and uh, enable uh, all these tasks, uh, but uh, you get the gist. Uh, there's uh, not much else to it. Um, when you actually hit uh, the Commit Pending Changes button up here, it will commit the changes. Right now there are uh, 59 of the changes for 79 dwarfs uh, in our fortress. You know, so, see, some of them have multiple uh, changes. Commit. And just like that, when you pull up Dwarf Fortress, um, they should magically now do those labors. Uh, no editing required, and it's uh, very safe because it just uh, it just changes the memory. Um, I'm not sure anything. Uh, I've never had the game crash, and it just uh, 
very cleanly uh, hooks up with the game. And uh, that is it for now. I'll see you in the next part. And it will actually be about Dwarf Fortress and not about a Dwarf the Therapist. Also known as a Dwarf the Rapist, if you... Uh, if you <laughs> if you read uh, the, just the URL because it's a uh, the URL has dwarf therapist in it and, and yes uh, it is kind of a, a joke but it makes sense as well um, so yeah uh, might as well just uh, yeah we're done we're done and uh, see you guys next part.